Time to take a look at the most accurate telling of the Pocahontas story ever, the Golden Films version. You know, the one with the living canoe. It starts with a beautiful morning, the sun coming over the trees. The days in the land are plenty, naturally they don't get better than these. You know your movie's good when just the cover alone elicits a gag response. I had the Golden Films Pocahontas on a two-pack with their Anastasia, but we've already talked about that masterpiece. However, I did learn after doing the review on that one that there's an alternate version which includes actually hearing the gunshots of the Romanovs being executed. In a few minutes, we can finally be together. Anastasia, no! And I thought this movie smelled bad enough the first time. There's also multiple releases of Golden Films as Anastasia and Pocahontas together because I guess it's their collection of stories about real people with tragic stories that they made into horrendous kids' films. They both also have talking birds in them. Though this time, instead of having one voiced by Charles Martinet, we've got good old Cam Clark in yet another Golden Films flop. However, for some reason, IMDb lists part of the cast from the Good Times jet lag version as being in this one. And I'm noticing a bit of a pattern with a lot of these later Golden Films movies. They seem to really love their flying sidekicks. Like, if it's not birds, it's ghosts or angels. They don't have to walk, so animating them's easier. I'm flying so high right now. So high, in fact, that I need an O. Henry 425. It starts with a beautiful morning, the sun coming over the trees. Oh, that sounds like a nice Paul Revere and the Raiders Indian Reservation ripoff there, guys. I can't believe Golden Films would rip something off. Any day's another wonderful day Living in the Indian nation Where the beauty and life abound Oh, I get it! They're deer! Ah, uh, slow down, will ya? I've been chasing chickens around all day and I'm... I'm tired! Well, first line out of his mouth and I can already tell this is a character I'm really gonna enjoy. That's because you are a chicken hawk. You're not meant to soar with eagles. Hey! Says who? I can soar with the best of them! It's scored with Flight of the Bumblebee because this bird is a bee! That makes his horribly unfunny scene hilarious! To what? What was that? To what? You're a twat! And suddenly, the living canoe! Yep, birds and living canoes all show up before the title character, but who cares about Pocahontas? She's the least important part of Pocahontas. Oh, great. It has legs? Oh! Now I have water in my ear. Why is any of this happening? I hate this movie! It's barely even started and I hate it! Do they think it's easy being a canoe? Yes, I do! Because you should be dead! You ate one too many chickens for breakfast, my friend. It's okay if Bird Clark eats chickens. They aren't sentient like canoes. Also, I'm really glad the stupid Animal Guide eagle is ripped. It's so impressive his muscles show through his feathers. Do you think I could be a full-fledged animal guide? Will you help me, old great eagle guide? Will you, will you, please, 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 please? First, I must help Pocahontas. Uh, Poca... who's it? Pocahontas. Poca... Uh, what's it? You can actually start the movie anytime you want, guys. Pocahontas. Oh, bless you. <laughs> These annoying Golden Films characters really know how to get under my skin. Oh wow, Pocahontas is in this, but I somehow doubt there are a lot of natives with blue dyed outfits back then. Pocahontas! Oh, White Eagle, you are late for my lesson. You are going to teach me how to have a personality. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Little Fluffy Wing. I now know the name of evil, Little Fluffy Wing. 
You must concentrate on your lessons. It's hard to concentrate when the whole world is coming alive with spring. Boy, oh boy, I sure did miss that classical music inappropriate scoring. It's that special little Golden Films touch. Pocahontas, we're not finished. Then teach me about the big, beautiful ocean. Well, it seems the animators are finished with animating lip flaps. The ocean? It's wet. Hey, where did everybody go? Hey, you guys, wait for me! This is Pocahontas I'm watching, right? Not Annoying Birds the movie? I've had a snack smarter than you. Eat him, please! But not cleaner than me. Look, my eagle friend. I appeared out of nowhere. In the woods, one's safety lies in avoiding the rabbit as well as the bear. Wow, that's deep. Yeah, deep up your ass. Now, here's an odd one. For one frame, Pocahontas is not holding her shoes and her hair is in pigtails, and then suddenly she has her shoes in hand and her hair is loose. I guess Pocahontas' hair was a big decision for this scene, as it's not consistent throughout either. They seem peaceful enough. If they don't start immediately attacking the empty shore, they must be peaceful. Good logic, Pokachu. Tonight we camp here. Oh, sweet. I always wanted to find out what stupid Monsieur Rodin would look like if he was in Golden Films instead of Bevanfield. <laughs> Rodin and his full face beard clone goons don't much care for John Smith and his gang saved by young women wherever he goes ways and tell him to just try gang saved by one here. Or something like that. I don't know. We're staying here. The provisions are too low to move on. Too low to move on! Our crews are exhausted. Hell, they're so exhausted they're not even gonna get off the boat. We should leave now, princess. The eagle has nipples?! So let me get this straight, Golden Films. In your little world, mermaids are... Merman? <laughs> Merman don't have nipples, but eagles do? Sure. Anyway, the birds continue their death to comedy shtick for another few minutes, while Pocahontas mostly just stands around watching blankly. Great movie for her. <laughs> Watch where you're going, why don't you? <coughs> where is my dugout? Oh, you've lost your canoe. How can it be? All the lessons I gave you on caring for one's possessions. Her canoe can get up and walk away. It's stupid, but it's true, meaning that it's not on her. What are we looking for anyway? Her dugout canoe. Dugout, yes, that's it. Okay, I understand. Oh, Doug! Here, Doug! Come on, Doug! Oh, no. This is kind of the opposite of the Disney one, where they decide to not have the animals speak, where here the animals never shut the hell up, and hey, let's have the canoe talk too for no real reason! Miko can't speak because he's so stupid! Hey, without Miko, you wouldn't exist, Wabu. <laughs> I found something! Uh-oh. Is that you, my friend? Nobody here but us trees. What are you doing up there? I'm seriously watching Pocahontas trying to get her sentient canoe out of a tree. <sighs> Glad this is where my life has taken me. Uh, well, I, uh, um, uh, well, that is to say, I mean, <laughs> um, actually, I, uh, oh, well, uh... Here's a good idea. Have a point. Pocahontas, that water is cold. I don't mean cool or nippy or even chilly. I mean freezing. Oh, I'm liable to catch my death of cold. Is this comedy? So when that stupid canoe's in the water being used, is it drowning? His stupid face would be flat in the water. Can you please use it and kill it, poker haunters? I must get back to the village very quickly. And I know that a fine, strapping canoe like you, who moves like the very wind itself, could get me there with great speed. You know, some people doubted John Smith's story about Pocahontas saving him, but I think if he had added that Pocahontas loved flirting with canoes, everyone would have bought it. 
After what feels like an eternity, they finally convince the crappy canoe to get in the water, and it dives! There goes its use! Oh wait, never mind, water is just magically not inside it after that, and also magically, its face has moved up its body, so it's not just drowning because this movie hates its audience! After this trip, I'm retiring! No need to wait, I'll retire you right now! Hey, where did we all come from? In the name of all my family, my wife, my sons, my daughters, or daughter. Wait, is that not one of his daughters? Is that Pocahontas' same age mother? Way to blow, Chief Jerkwad. May I have this dance? No. Hey, there you go. Something that's actually funny. I didn't know you had it Aw, in... come on. You're only young once. Live a little. And they ruined it. And it keeps going and going and going. Nothing outlasts the non-comedy. Then there's a race, and the birds talk about it. We're over 15 minutes in now, and I'm still waiting for the plot. The others race so poorly. Is this guy even a real Native American? Seems like a real poser. Perhaps I should race you, Brightfire. Ha 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 ha! She wants to erase Brightfire. Surely she doesn't mean it. Wow, you sound exactly like an annoying little yellow bird. Who is she? The daughter of Pohatan. She is Pocahontas. Why do these guys not know their chief's daughter? What is the point of this? We already know who she is. So after the race scene, we have a race scene. But this time, Cam Bird and the canoe sabotage Pocahontas' competition, proving that she's... Better? We are not the white man's brother. They shall not plant in our fields nor hunt in our woods. Oh, hello, Jeff Bennett. But father, they cannot live without food. Who dares to? My daughter. There's so many people who call me father, including my wife, so that could have been anyone. But this man was not like those others, father. I know it. Okay. No, 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 no. What was that? It's a most amazing land, isn't it? This morning I saw an eagle. An eagle with nipples, no less. Very weird. I hate this place. It's all so wonderful. I'm going to fall over. What are we having for dinner tonight? Fish. And what will you feed us tomorrow? No, don't tell me. Fish. Enough. The cook is working as hard as he can. Well, not hard enough so that he didn't blink out of existence. The Indians have forbidden us to hunt. Oh, so they have actually established communication with the natives somehow already? Must have gotten a tree to translate for them. But the natives told the white men no hunting and they just said, okay. Yeah, sure, that seems about right. It's my fault, Mr. Smith. I've been cooking too much fish, haven't I? Oh, right. It wasn't a matter of the colonists starving or anything. It's just that they were bored of fish meals. It's over there. It's the savages! Yes, I am so savage! Anyway, want some cake? I promise it doesn't have sneezing powder in it. What a weird thing to promise, but since he said it doesn't have sneezing powder in it, I guess we should eat it! Oh no, no, no! Right! I told them it wasn't sneezing powder. <laughs> you wet savages won't get my scalp! Well, that does suck pretty hard to get killed by Golden Films as Rodan, but look on the bright side, at least he didn't get shot by the three-armed man. Next, Pocahontas shows us a little magic trick as she semi-warps out of this tent where she is apparently stuck inside the ground until just suddenly being outside. I am sorry for your loss, sir. The guilty one shall be punished. Okay. Then it is you who shall pay. I can't allow this to happen, White Eagle, but how can I stop it? You don't need to listen to me. I wish the movie thought that. His death will mean war. Speak no more, McCormick. Ah, yes, a real solid Native American name. McCormick. 
Oh, this can't be happening. It just can't be happening. Tell me this isn't happening, huh? I'm so invested in what's his name that I've never interacted with. Pocahontas interrupts the execution, which apparently means he's immediately free to go. Time for these two to really bond it up. The rain has brought the insects out. April showers bring May flowers. Oh, is Pocahontas where that saying came from? Back at Camp Abandon, Rodant and the Beard Bros decide to wreck their supplies because they're idiots. Oh, send the cooling rain that our corn and beans may grow. No! Dead. Seriously though, why is this stupid bird not dead from that? And the birds, you know, talk to these people, right? I mean, maybe this guy just thought he'd get away with killing Cam Bird because he's so annoying and no one's gonna prosecute him. But I love you. But Pocahontas, you're only a child. There is no love in your heart for me? That's not true. Well, it comes off extra creepy when you put it that way. Glad they suddenly love each other, too. Didn't have time to build that up, what with all the super important blabbing bird scenes. Pocahontas then tells John Smith to just go home, and he says, Oh yeah, I forgot about my stupid little settlement with the three villains and the cook. Should probably check in on that. I should probably care. But I don't. Was he badly hurt? It is a gift from the spirits that Smith survived at all. Ah, no tension to it. Just say he survived immediately in passing conversation right after. These Golden Films movies sure know good storytelling, that's for sure. He won't need your healer. A ship has taken him back to his home. Jeez, how long has it taken Pocahontas to care about John Smith being blown up? If we don't share our food, they will perish. Okay. I am Pocahontas. Oh, yes, of course. Why do I sound so disingenuous when I'm not supposed to be a bad guy? Then Pocahontas mopes in her canoe, which would be really weird if it wasn't a living canoe, so good thing they did that. Rodan and the Beard Bros decide to kidnap Pocahontas because they think that'll make her father give them food or something. But Chief OK isn't about giving in to demands, so he says either he or the annoying birds that refuse to die will save her soon. Anyway, two years later, she's still sitting around that crappy cabin. Yes! Really? It's been two years. How much longer can we hold her? This movie sure knows how to pace things, I tell ya. Drag out a whole lot of nothing with annoying birds and canoes, but kidnappings just fade away to two years later. <gasps> oh, it's a thingamajig. I, I, I mean, it's a flumming bird. Man, these birds suck. That's her. Pocahontas? I would like to help you. Where did Pocahontas get her knee-high blue boots? Did Rodan special order those for her? She didn't have those when they first threw her in there. Our little Pocahontas <coughs> married. Oh, I would like to help you. That's all we need as an audience. Marry them immediately. And may peace be with you. Peace not only for them, but for the white man and the red man. Oh yeah, Pocahontas' marriage brought about peace. That is so accurate. Anyway, the dude the movie hasn't even bothered to introduce us to that Pocahontas has married is John Rolfe. Because Pocahontas had a thing for Johns, I guess. Pocahontas, marry me. Shut up, John. Thank you for that. So... What, you just heard my name, and then suddenly this is the idea you come up with? Great cameo, Phelan. So with less than ten minutes left, we're suddenly doing Pocahontas 2? It's alright now. I've taken care of it. Put a cork in it, Zane! This part of the movie is loosely based on when the real Pocahontas married tobacco planter John Rolfe and went to England with him. Though Golden Films adapted this story before Disney did, as theirs came out in 94, four years before the Disney one. Which is also kind of surprising considering how closely Golden Films' Pocahontas and Disney's Pocahontas English dresses match up. I guess Disney copied Golden Films. 
This movie, in fact, beat out Disney's first Pocahontas as that came out in 95, which is why this stole all of its thunder and no one remembers the Disney one. The birds follow them to England because heaven forbid we get a reprieve from their pointless banter. Do you see any trees? Now that you mention it, no. Oh, never mind. That was highly necessary. Pocahontas and the angry tobacco nerd party it up while the birds dial the annoyance factor up to 11. La -da -da, la -da -da -da. Ooh, da -da -da <laughs> Poke to the Hauntus then finds out that John Smith is still alive, which changes everything, and she doesn't want to party with her silver medal of a husband anymore. I suddenly feel very, very tired. Wow, that's a horrible thing to add. Way to blow, Golden Films! I've had news from the settlement. I'm afraid I must go back. <laughs> It's not fair! Our poor Pocahontas shouldn't have to lose another love! Wow! So they just killed Rolf off like that, huh? Kind of astounding how inept this movie is. John Smith, you've come back to me. I'm completely over my dead husband since my first choice is back. Will you take me home? Pocahontas! Welcome home, princess! Yeah, sure, that's what happened. And yes, that is the last bit from the talking canoe. It was as pointless as it was annoying. Ooh, an accuracy bonus as they have Hawaiian lays dropped on them. They did that all the time in Virginia. So in reality, Pocahontas and Rolf had a child together, and during a trip they are taking back to Virginia, she died, so she never actually returned home. Guess that wouldn't really be a fun ending for the kids' film, though I don't know why they bothered with the Rolf marriage just to kill him off and then gear back together with Smith. This movie is such a mess. It focuses so long on all these inane things and then speeds through the actual story. They don't bother having any comeuppance for the bad guys and they make Pocahontas look terrible with her lack of regard for her husband and his death. I know Golden Films loves their stupid little sidekicks, but they pretty much let them take over the movie this time and barely gave us much character from Pocahontas. What did you think of this version of Pocahontas, Wabu? Not enough raccoons or drinking. Zero out of ten. <sighs> you know what? I really do prefer the drunk raccoon over the annoying birds. How sad. I don't like this movie, it doesn't look too friendly This movie is so fake, that toy is gonna break Famous don't let me down, you need to be around Grab that chocolate piece I even like it cause I want Failus so failus Bring on more comedy Failus so failus An animation movie Failus so failus Wabu really is so fun Failus so failus What's your opinion about? Here's a peace offering, you stupid birds. Oh, shit. Great cameo, Phelan. Shut up, Megatron. Never!